Today you're gonna learn how to do this tag defect in DaVinci Resolve. It's really easy to do, so don't afraid. Fusion doesn't bite. It's a really nice effect, especially in speed ramps. So let's get into it. But first, if you want to learn how to make these speed ramps with curves, like in After Effects, then click here to watch the video. Go back to DaVinci. Select your clip where you would like to use the duplicated effect. Here I already made the speed ramp, so I have the final clip. Open in Fusion. Press Shift plus Pace and type Magic Mask. Set the mode to Better and draw a Magic Mask on your subject. Then click to this and track back and forward. After it finished, press Shift plus Pace and type Merge. Put this node up and connect this with this green input. Then click to this Merge node and press Command plus T. Then click to the magic mask and press shift plus pace and type duplicate. Set the copies to 5 and if you pull the center you can see the stack effect. Put the playhead to the frame 4. This is where our effect starts. Make a keyframe on the position and angle. Go a few frames forward and pull up the y-axis and the angle. And correct the center. I made a new keyframe here, maybe we need it later. Go further a few frames and set the numbers to the original. Ok, we have the effect now, but we need to adjust the smoothness because it's too linear. Open our best friend, Spline, and I move it until I see the keyframes. I delete this one because now I see that we don't need it. Press Command plus A and press S to make the curve smooth. Turn off the angle for a sec and click to this keyframe and pull it up. Then do this with the last keyframe and set the middle like this. Ok, now check only the angle spline. Put this down a little bit, because it's not exactly what I want. And set back the first two keyframes to linear by clicking this. Do this what you see. You can see the impact looks so much better now. Now the duplicate effect is fine, but I created a duplicate plugin that lets you make this effect in seconds. It could save you a lot of time, because you don't have to animate it everything on your own. My plugin comes with 8 pre-animated effects that are fully customizable. Just drag and drop the effect to your masked out clip and you're done. Plus the effect automatically adapts to your length of your clip. But if you want, you can adjust the speed duration and the offset easily. So if you're interested, just check the link in the description below. Go to the edit page and right click to the clip and make a new fusion clip. We will do here the impact dust effect. I get mine from Invato Elements. You can find a lot of there. Open in Fusion and press Shift plus Space. Type Planner Tracker. I draw a mask where I would like to do the impact dust effect. Set the tracker to Hybrid Point Area and click to Set and Track Forward. And after this successful tracking, click to create Planner Transform. You can see a new node created here. This stores our tracking information. We want to disconnect this with holding shift and drag it out and put a merge node by clicking here and pull this impact effect from the media to fusion. Connect the media in 2 to the merge node. You can see it's appeared but the position is not correct. So we should correct that with that planner transform node. Now the media in 2 follows the tracking points. Basically it sticks to our impact point but we have to correct the angle and position. So click to this media in and press shift plus space and type corner positioner. Red rectangle is appeared and we can pull the corners as we wish. 
Then go to the keyframes and pull the dust effects to the point where the bike hits the ground, because now the effect starts way before the impact. And I would like to adjust the size, so I put a transform node before the corner positioner, pull the size and try to find a good point around here. Then play with the center values to position back the effect under the wheel. So it looks nice, but one key effect missing. We need to feel that <clears throat> impact effect. So I show you how can you do that with ease. Make an adjustment layer. Click the frames and change the clip duration to 13 frames. Open in Fusion and press Shift plus Space and type Shake. First, remove the empty bars by clicking the edges from canvas to mirror. Go to the first frame and make a creep frame, then pull this to the end and set the overall strength to zero. And here's my secret sauce to make better roll-off for the shakes. Open spline and click here to show the strength keyframes. If you can't see this curve, then click here to zoom out to the full view. Press Command plus A to select the keyframes and press S to make them ease. And basically we just pull down the first keyframe ease like this. Go back to the editing page and drag our new shake here. Now I can feel that impact effect. We are finished the visual effects, but it doesn't end here. One key moment is missing. You can feel the effect is not bad, but it's empty without the sound. So go to a stock site and try to find some sound effects. Basically, we need two types of sounds. The first is some kind of clicking effect. This is for the duplicate, like something like this. And the second is for the impact, like <clears throat> And that's it. As I said, you can do the duplicate effect on your own or check my new duplicate effects plugin, which basically saves you a lot of time. You will get eight pre-animated effects, but it's fully customizable, so you can do your own versions. And for extra, these effects add up to your clip length too. But if you want the plugin applies later, then you can set the offset. But if you want to adjust manually the speed duration because you need it faster or longer, then you can do this too. It has motion blur, which makes this effect more believable or realistic. And I think it's a perfect extra sauce for speed ramps. And I get an exclusive limited time offer, get the plugin for only $9, available for the first 10 purchases only, but three have already been purchased, so only seven remain. So click the link in the description below and don't miss the discount. And if you missed my new way of speed ramping in DaVinci Resolve, then watch this next video. Peace.